as an American, you have a right to freedom of speech. Okay, you have to defend that right. This is Michael Dixon. I'm a certified criminal lawyer and I've been in this profession for 10 plus years and we're gonna be checking out. We're hearing that Angry Joe is in a very bad situation with Halo. Make sure to smash all that good stuff. Like these kids ask for nowadays. I'm not sure what they're asking. We're gonna be because getting and checking so this we're out. talking about Angry Joe and love him or hate him and I actually quite like Angry Joe. His coverage of sci-fi shows and movies can be fairly significant and that's been the case for the Halo TV show. Angry Joe Joe's review. It's that guy that moves his ha hands around, right? Okay. These right. have been big and they draw Allegedly. a lot of attention. And he does happen to be someone who often speaks negatively, not necessarily unfairly, but who often speaks negatively about the show, especially the inclusion. Objection, of objection. That's uh, speculation. Characters like Quan, many of the same complaints that a lot of us have. What's different about Angry Joe is that he's being targeted specifically as a creator for these reviews, and Paramount has reached out and is taking oh, action against his channel in the form of copyright claims and to be honest in the form now uh paramount that's a big company and i just got done kicking some ass earlier and okay if angry just getting his ass kicked by paramount that's problematic because not only that they got the manpower they got money they got energy and for angry joy it might be a little bit hard to win this battle and i want all of you to give him this my contact details i think we can win this case easily no problem of censorship but let's see so what he's the, covered the this problem. a few times on his channel i'm going to link to some of those videos but to keep it short he posted a screenshot on twitter showing not only that a lot of his content gets copyright flagged but that his halo content specifically seems to have been singled out for censorship and here's mm. a brief explanation for how it works basically what youtube does is they offer systems for copyright holders who can basically scan new videos for their content for example if i upload the entirety of revenge of the sith youtube will scan that and lucasfilm or disney or someone will have the opportunity to block my video to claim money from it there's a yeah I, I feel like that we should go ahead and file a lawsuit against the entire planet earth let's do that a bunch of things they can do most companies have systems built in Con my contact details are here let's go ahead and sue the entire planet earth i'm with you i'm michael dixon we, we got this we're gonna win this case to oh allow yeah for fair use for example i know that i can probably get away with using 30 to 60 seconds of uninterrupted star wars footage without getting an automatic flag now that i call bullshit on that one i call bullshit that's bullshit that's fucking bullshit okay you should not be copywriting people like that let people let people use the entire footage okay just if i use music other companies have different rules you kind of learn it as you go along what's different for angry joe is that he's not being caught up in the system he's being caught up in manual reviews which means that a real person working for i believe cbs is watching Watching his content, deciding that they don't want it on YouTube, manually flagging the video and taking it down. There are different options, by the way. When you get copyright flagged, they can either take all the money, they can take the video down. Obviously, they're choosing to take it down here. It seems mm -hmm. like he is not a great relationship with CBS because they're also targeting him for his Star Trek videos. And let's be honest, That's this crazy. is blatantly unfair. And it's a really, really shitty situation, especially because as a creator, there's almost nothing that you can do to counteract oh this. no there you can actually do that this is why like we over here at giga chat corporations listen man you gotta just call michael dixon over here and we can take care of your business we work here so you can sleep at ease with, at night, okay? You can sleep with ease at night, okay? Words sometimes I do not come out, but this is really against the copyright. This is really against the, the let me think here. This is really against the act, the, I, I forgot that number. It's not coming up right now, but it's really against the act, okay? So it, it, it's really against that. Really against that. No it should not happen. When big companies like CBS exploit the copyright system to take down content or to silence opinions. And by taking down Angry Joe's videos, they're removing millions of potentially negative views towards yep. their team. This is straight up a case of them trying to prevent your freedom of speech. That you can, yeah, this is against the, the section. This is against the act. There's a big, yeah, big time. Somebody needs to give uh, Angry Joe my contact details, man. I think we got this. We can win this we can have you know how the kids now say we could get that dub a dub i uh, quite frankly i don't understand these kids languages tv show we can and win i'm this. not even suggesting that Easy. angry joe comes in wanting to be negative but even if he did even if he were not angry joe maybe i hate halo joe that's still his right on you 
That's bullshit. Bullshit. Straight up bullshit. YouTube to use content fairly and to produce video reviews. The copyright system on YouTube is meant to stop improper use of copyrighted material. What Angry Joe does, what I do, what other people who make video essays and review often do is use the content by the guidelines of fair use, which is totally legal. Again, that's the law, but YouTube yep. is in a kind of rough place with how they've had to set their systems up. We, we need this guy to show up as a testimony as well because he seems to have some fair bit of knowledge and I think we need him. We need him for that, sure. There's not really anything they can do. And you know what? Part of the reason why I decided to talk about this is that I have a lot of experience. I've been targeted, not necessarily because of who I am, but I've been- This is straight up bullshit. Like, where are you at? Why you're not calling the GigaChat corporations? This is a straight up case. We can file this in the court of law and we can win this within like two minutes. Like, straight up. I've been targeted several times by these scumbag media companies who overnight oh, yeah. will literally claim hundreds of your videos with no warning. They'll take hundreds of videos worth of revenue because they think you use copyrighted material and, well, that's not true. As an example, I have permission to use the song Resonance by Home in my videos. It's my intro song. I have explicit rights from the artist. One time I had over 100 videos flagged by somebody who without permission used Resonance in a remix and then started claiming all of the videos that use the original song saying that they were using the remix. I know that sounds confusing. It's just a sort of explanation of how broken the system is. Anyway, back on the topic of Joe, it seems like what he's had to do to avoid these worldwide content blocks from CBS is remove literally all content that comes from the show, from the video, which obviously goes way beyond- That's straight up bullshit. You don't have to remove your content. As an American, you have a right to freedom of speech, okay? You have to defend that right. If you give up your right, you're giving up your freedom. L wake up. You gotta wake up. Wake up. Americans, you gotta wake up. Don't be dumb. Don't, don't, don't be kissing ass out there, okay? And fair use. Don't be and kissing also ass. also re-upload. I feel like that today's kids are like, okay, well, you know, if I do that, am I allowed to do that? You're kissing too much ass. You're kissing too much ass. You gotta stop that. The You're an American. Numerous times. If you guys aren't YouTubers, you may not know this, but YouTube is really based on momentum. And when a video does well, having it taken down for even a few minutes will literally crush the potential of that video. Having to re-upload a video that was up. Oh yeah, Skizzle, uh, Skizzle told me about this one. For 30 seconds already will also crush the potential of this video. So not only are they silencing his views temporarily as he gets around their frankly illegal use of copyright mechanisms, it's also hurting the potential of his re-uploads just because of how YouTube operates. So yeah, to put it frankly, it's bullshit. And as I've mentioned, there's no re- <laughs> Okay, he calls it bullshit too. That, that's what I'm saying. But click on this video on the screen. Face swag was caught cheating and we'll see you there.